what's up guys today i'm going to be doing a tutorial on this hyperlapse transition where it looks like the door is shutting which transitions onto the next shot and you can either do this forward or backwards i actually prefer the way it looks in reverse before i get into the tutorial i just want to say that i'm having a black friday sale on my store right now so if you're looking for any final cut pro effects plugins transitions you can use uh, the discount code i'll put it on the screen right now and that discount code will get you 50 percent off so check that out if you're interested so these are my two original video clips and they're just walking gimbal shots in follow mode and the second clip actually ends where I walked up to this door right here which had a nice little gap in it so I thought it'd be perfect to do this effect with. What I'm going to do is reverse both of these clips so I'm going to select it go up here to the um, little speed wheel and go to reverse clip and then I'm going to click on this little drop down menu go reverse fast uh, minus 20 and then I'm just going to slow it down a little bit um, I like how these walking hyperlapses look at around 1000% speed and then I'm just going to copy and paste the effects onto this video clip so now they're both the same speed so it looks more like a hyperlapse okay so the next step is to mask out this door frame right here so I'm going to mask out from about here all the way back to the beginning of the shot. I'm going to select my video clip, go over to the effects tab and go to masks, draw mask. I'm just going to add that to my video clip and then draw around the door and the gap in the door so that the mask goes all the way up to the other door. And then I'm going to go over to the parameters and click invert mask go to transform I'm just going to click the keyframes on all of these and control points and then I'm just going to go frame by frame backwards and move the points so that it sticks to where I have it right now and then I'm just going to drag this video clip over my other hyperlapse so now I have to create another layer to create the door animation. So what I'm going to do is go to the frame where the door fits the screen from top to bottom where it's still quite big in the shot. And then I'm just going to press M to create a marker. And then I'm going to copy and paste this video clip. And then where my marker is, I'm going to press Shift and H to create a freeze frame. And then I'm going to crop it and bring the freeze frame back even a few frames back past where the hyperlapse starts and then use a blade tool to just chop the end off right there so then I'm going to select it I'm going to extend it one frame over the marker so this is just so that I can see it and edit it because if you go to the end of the freeze frame for some reason it doesn't show up on the screen so I will actually chop that bit off at the end now I'm going to select my freeze frame go up to the draw mask effect and just reset all of the parameters on that and then I'm going to draw around the door stick into the edges and now I'm going to select the freeze frame and go over here to distort select distort and then hit the keyframe button and then go all the way back to the beginning or at least one or two frames before the start of the hyperlapse and because the door is coming from the right hand side I'm going to use the opposite side to distort this all the way to the end and drag this one out a tiny bit and then I'm going to go frame by frame just adjusting these distort parameters so that the door looks like it's uh, swinging out from the side now that I'm at the marker I'm going to select the bottom clip and go over here to the draw mask effect fill opacity click the keyframe button skip a frame and then just put this all the way down to zero Okay, so now the door looks like it's closing as the shot goes through. So now I'm going to add some motion blur to blend it all together. I'm going to my titles tab and motion blur. This plugin doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave the link to a free download uh, down below if you don't have it. And then I just drop that over my footage and it will add motion blur to sped up footage. And this is what it looks like after motion blur. So this one's a little bit fast. 
it may have been better if I had slowed my footage down, my hyperlapses down a little bit more because then I could have always sped it up afterwards, but still looks pretty cool. Overall, super cool uh, transition when you're going from hyperlapses to the next one. I will leave the download link to these two video clips if you want to uh, try this effect out yourself and practice with them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I have another editing competition planned for December, so look out for that if you want to get involved. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.